Good day, soul family. Okay, so it's a hot one. It's a hot, hot one. I'm okay standing out here right now, but I know that I would literally roast if I tried to stay out here and do our weekly reading. I'm doing our weekly reading because Spirit didn't want me to save yesterday's reading. I spoke about it already, posted it to my page, but I'll let you guys know that I was going to send, uh, post a, a different kind of reading today, and I've decided that I don't want the drama. Um, there's a lot of information, and I thought, you know what? I am wanting to be the light in the storm, a shelter in the storm, the lighthouse in the storm. I don't want to be adding to any more drama. You can see over the mountains there, there's thunderheads. And there's thunderheads here too. It's warm, the water's just kind of ripply, but the emotion is quite high actually. And uh, as the divine feminine counterpart to my divine masculine in my twin soul relationship, I don't want to lead. It's not for me to lead. I do my job, he does his. And I've decided that the information that I was given there was a lot of messages that probably could have helped other people, but it's too personal for his family, for my family, and uh, I don't want to add to the drama. So I'm going to let him do his thing. I'm going to do mine. I am very connected, and I get very, very um, specific information, but he's connected too, and he doesn't need me to lead him. If I can get the information that I got, I count on him to get the information that he that he needs to get. So. That's why we're not doing that reading. Um, also, the reading that I did the live feed yesterday, it was really fun, it was great, but there was a few things that happened. And I, I know that a lot of people are experiencing this, so I'm gonna bring it up in this reading just now. If you are cruising along, happy as a clam, and all of a sudden you have like your energy shift, and you have a negative feeling, or you get angry, or you get scared, or you get frustrated, something happens really quickly, it's not your energy. You're picking up somebody else's energy. We've got that happening right now. We have to be really, really careful. I was very drained by the time I got to this place in my reading yesterday. I felt it was great. It was so much fun. It was really wonderful and I enjoyed everybody here. Thank you so much. But the messages that were received by the people that got the messages, they got what they needed. And um, there was a couple things that, that came out of my mouth that, that were not me. They literally came out of my mouth and I, I was embarrassed after I, I thought back later, I thought I was frustrated that, sp that Spirit didn't allow the, the message to be saved, right? It's unusual, but they, they didn't. And so it's giving me a couple of messages. One, I'm not gonna be doing live readings for the weekly reading, it drains my energy way too quickly. And uh, also that the information, like I, I was embarrassed when, when I thought back, because one, I, I said a couple of things that were not they came out of my mouth, I said them, but it, but it wasn't what I meant and, it, and it, it wasn't really me speaking. I made an implication that, you know, I implied that it was okay for us to berate or be disrespectful to a family member or to a loved one, and it's not, and that's not what I meant. What I meant was, that, but that came out for a reason. I, I, I got many messages afterwards for people saying, no, you needed to say that, that needed to be heard because that's what's been happening in, in our family, and I said, well, that's not what I meant, and I don't. if you don't know me, you would get the wrong impression. So what I meant was, if somebody else berates our loved one or puts them in their place, we won't put up with that, right? But we will call our loved one out on their shit. We can do that, that's what I meant. It's not okay ever to be, to be nasty, to be disrespectful of anyone that we love. Okay, that's, that's, that's losing your cool, that's not good. So that needed to be straightened out. Also, when I was, I was uh, I, the energy started to shift and it's interesting because Sandy said she noticed it and so did someone else. They're like, yeah, we could see the energy shift. And I said all of a sudden I got a headache, remember? I should have been, I was too tired, I should, wasn't paying attention. I needed to clear my energy right then because somebody came in on the chat and it wasn't my energy. And I was trying to find something and I, and I said, Oh, my stuff's all over the place. I said, I said whenever I get annoyed, I, I throw shit everywhere. And that's not even the truth. I don't. I don't throw things. 
first of all, I, I like my things and I don't want anything broken. Second of all, I'm very neat and organized. So no, that isn't even that wasn't even the truth. But that was one of the things that uh, one of the writers came in and said to me, you know, no, that happens and you needed to say that. That needed to be said. And I said, okay, but that doesn't need to go out because if you don't know me, I don't want you thinking I throw shit when I get upset. I don't want you think, thinking it's okay that I, that I think it's okay to berate people because that's, that's, not, that's been done to me and it's not okay. It's not okay just because you're my parent, just because you're my loved one, you're gonna be disrespectful to me. You should be more respectful to me. So there was those things. Also, I got a very, very strong message and it was from the night side it might have been interfered with. I did need to get the information, but I saw someone's name. I heard tomatoes. Tomatoes are acidic. I said, I'm chowing down on tomatoes. That should have been my clue as well. I don't eat tomatoes, ever. And people that know me know that. And I said, I'm chowing down on tomatoes. I told you, words come up for a reason for me. But guarantee you, I do not like tomatoes. I like salsa. I like ketchup. I like... Uh, tomato soup, but I will never, you will never see me eat a tomato. Anyone that knows me will tell you that, okay? That was not me speaking. Somebody else was chowing down on tomatoes. I tapped into them, their energy. I saw a baby kitten, baby girl kitten, and I went off. All of that needed to be gone from me. That was not mine. So I just wanted to say these things, okay? So that needed to be cleared up. So have a look outside here. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna do the reading inside because it's too hot for me outside. I don't like the heat. We all know that. And look at, and I got a warning. Actually, my landlord said, it's gonna be hot. It's, it's, it's gonna, what did he say? He said it differently than that. He said, and he said it several times. I told you I listened to information that people, you know, send me. And he said, today's gonna be a hot one you need to be prepared. And I thought, oh wow, here we go. Okay, so let me put I take my sunglasses off and put my reading glasses on so I can actually see you. Hi. Okay. I'm getting new glasses, by the way. <laughs> they're they're cute, they're black frames. But they're gonna get I'm gonna get them so they don't have the glare, the anti-glare. So I wonder if I should do this. Maybe I'll just tilt things up a little bit. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so the items that you're gonna choose from today, this is now our, this will be our weekly reading, okay? And uh, I'm getting blown up with messages. I mean, I've, I'm getting so much, it's crazy. All of us are gonna be getting epiphanies. All of us are gonna have lights turned on. There's gonna be a lot of chaos happening. There are falling towers, there's information coming out, people having to make choices, there are radical choices and decisions. And as I said, I do not want to add to the confusion. I do not want to add to the drama because what does spirit say? Spirit says, go to where there's love, where there's understanding, where there's compassion, where there's kindness, where there's forgiveness. Stay away from anger, ridicule, blame, judgment, and drama, okay? I'm not a part of that. So we're gonna make our choices here. If you wanna do Zodiac, you can. I love these. I got these when I went on my quest up to Big Sur. Oh, it's been a while. So this one. Oh, did I lose the little tag? How sad. Well, I know that this one is the, gar the, the, the moon goddess. And this, oh, this one is the garden goddess. Okay, so here's the garden goddess, which I love. Right? Here's the fish. I got this in the Yucatan Peninsula. I carried it everywhere for weeks until I got it home. And then my ex took it and I begged for it back and he wouldn't give it back to me. And do you know, look at this, look at this poor fish. This fish, this fin's not been knocked off. This fin's been knocked off. So the psychic antenna got knocked and, and one of his limbs walking forward to move him, one of his rudders got knocked off, but he's glued back together and he's stronger than ever. But look, he's kind of, there's a message in this too. I saw this. I'll have to think about what that is. It was in one of my banner pictures about the, the, the rainbow fish and the mermaid. And the mouth was open this way. I have to go back into my dreams. He looks a little surprised, doesn't he? Oh my God. Okay, then there is the mermaid and her... I don't know who this is. Is this her dad? Is this her lover? Doesn't look like my twin. Unless he gets his hair cut short. But she's being rescued. She's being taken. Out of, out of her emotional waters. Her eyes are closed. She feels safe with him. His eyes are closed too. Maybe they're just dreaming together. 
And then there is the moon goddess, and she holds the key. Ooh, there. There's her little tag. Blue moon. How interesting. Blue mom. Blue mom. And look, she's holding on to her baby. The blue mom with the key. Mama Sherry, the blue mom. Wow, that's interesting. People were saying that they saw a blue aura around me, an angel, and I I said that the, the angel was blue. Blue mom. Okay, so those are your choices. The garden goddess. She's like the grandma, I think. She's like Mother Nature. And she's Mother as well, but she's, she's the, the nurturing, loving, and she's got the key. This is me. So this will be fire. This will clearly be water. This will be earth. And this will be air. Okay? So earth, water, air, fire. Got that? Okay. Let me put you guys down while I shuffle our cards. I guess I could have explained the other stuff to you while I was shuffling our cards, but oh well. So I'm gonna take the messages that I get as I go along from people. So my friend just sent me a mantra. It's the Monday mantra. Prosperity guides me, prosperity finds me. Prosperity guides me, prosperity finds me. Saying the word prosperity silently and slowly to yourself evokes elevated expansion and attraction. Speaking the mantra immediately lets you shape a prosperity posture. Prosperity is such a luscious, power-packed word that encompasses the energy of rich possibility in all ways for your life. Try repeating this mantra nine times today, three times in the morning, three times at noon, and three times before bed. And then take notice as prosperity expands and attracts for you this week. Prosperity guides me. Prosperity finds me. Prosperity guides me. Prosperity finds me. Prosperity guides me. Prosperity finds me. Okay. Thank you for that. That's one message. Also, I asked my friend Randall, what did... See if I can pull it up here. Remember I told you I gave, he gave us the mantra, the Buddhist mantra? And it was in a rainbow mantra, actually. Oh, did I delete him? Oh, sorry, Randall. Well, it was a rainbow mantra. And it, what it was doing, if you do recall me telling you what the mantra was, I wrote it down, so I'll get it and I'll say it to us again. Since now I know what it means. I mean, he told me at the time, but I forgot. So it's important that we know. So the mantra, it's an ancient Buddhist mantra. And... I wrote it down in my book here. Om Kapai Laya Namaha. Om Kapai Laya Namaha. Om Kapai Laya Namaha. Om Kapai Laya Namaha. It's a healing rainbow mantra, and what it does is it draws all of the rainbow light energy in throughout your body. All of the rays, the seven rays, the rainbow lights. Wow, we got a really cool message just now. I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> I saw one. Anyway, you guys, if you, right now, I can't tell you how exhausted I am. The information that I received last night was so upsetting. <laughs> And it was, it was so, it collect, connected everything in my life. And it showed me how everyone is connected. My twin, my twin's family, his family, his relatives, my life, the people that were uh, loves in my life, the people that were loves in his life, false twin, the karmic twin, for him, for me, um, people that, that we cared about, all of us interconnected. And every story was a mirror. Every story was a mirror. Everything I've gone through, he's gone through. Everything. Everything. Which is what twin souls do. But to watch it, and for me to actually understand, because I've watched things happen in his life, and I'm upset about where he is, but I know where he is. 
I know what he's going through uh, because I've been through it. Every single thing. And it shocked me. People that died, people that died that meant something to us. Unbelievable. Um, and so I watched it, and that's what I was going to share. And then I thought, no way. Yeah, this is way too personal. Way too personal. You know? It's very upsetting. It's very difficult to go through what we've had to go through and what he's dealing with. And, and so I thought, hell no. I am not going to be lighting a fire on top of fire. This is absolutely going to be the shelter in the storm. You know? I'm an Aries, and he's a Pisces. But I'm in a Pisces moon, and I know how to be nurturing, kind, and loving and gentle when somebody needs it. And right now, things are whipped up and he doesn't need anything but calm. So that was just amazing though to watch. To watch how <laughs> how everything was so connected. It was just, it was amazing. And, and there were things that I kept thinking to myself, he needs to know this. He needs to know this. I need to tell him, he needs to know this. This isn't, if he knew this, he would make his decision. It would be so easy for him. And then I thought, wait, I said to the father once before, stop, I'm, please stop and bring him home. I don't want him to go through this anymore. And he said, no, you can't do this. I want to fix everything, right? That's the empath in me. You can't control this. Do you not? And then I thought to myself, Sherry, do you not think that your divine masculine has the ability to hear every single thing that you've heard? And how do you know he hasn't sent you that information so that you understand? You don't have to do everything. And remember, Spirit said that to us in our week, read, in that reading that we did yesterday, was that we don't have to do everything alone. That's not for us to do. We don't. And we do, shouldn't be ashamed to reach out and ask for help, male or female. Not only should we not be ashamed, Spirit is asking us to do that. And if we don't do that, we are very arrogant and proud. And that is something that needs to be broken. So, no, I am not to tell my twin. I'm not to inform him of the information. And if people are lying and manipulating to him as I've seen them do, he is very intelligent and he knows how to handle himself. So, I leave it to spirit. And spirit did say there will be divine intervention. There will be divine intervention. So, that's for all of us. You know, don't think that you're a lone wolf and that you have to take care of everything. We call upon spirit for help. And if there's already a lot of drama, and you know what, Spirit's told us how many times again and again, it is not as it appears. Things are not as they appear. And what if you make a mistake? Do you really want to push away what your soul's been longing for because you're misunderstood? Or you come from a, from a place, you know, if somebody's going through a difficult time, one more thing is all they need to break that camel's back. Do you want to be the, the cause of that? I sure as hell don't. So... That's when I sat here this morning and I said, I, I, I did the whole reading and it was emotional and oh my God. And, and if my twin's connected to me, he can hear it. So I asked the father, I said, please, please, I can't send this out. I can't send this out if this is gonna cause a problem. I, you need to guide me. You need to guide me. I can't make a mistake. And then I just kept thinking, what would love say? What would love do? If somebody is in a place where, where it's toxic, Merlin, the dragonfish, he's in a place where the water is toxic, where there's things whipped up, where there's anger and where there's lies and manipulation. And I don't want to come out like the queen of fire. I am the, the queen of wands. The queen of wands is, is loving and nurturing and healing, but she can also come across in a different misunderstood way. And I didn't want that to happen. And I didn't want that to happen to any of us because we are all going through this energy right now. So don't think that you're alone going through these, this energy. You're not. Everybody's experiencing this, and it's really tough right now. So the best thing we can do is stay away from the drama. Check the drama at the door, right? Check the drama at the door. I don't want to be a part of it. It's kind of like you're looking at two different people, right, that are so similar, you know, the two kittens. You don't want to be that similar. You want to show the difference between you and the other kitten. If one is controlling, manipulative, and aggressive, you don't come across that way. Right? And what did I say yesterday? When somebody is in a place, you don't, you don't push them. You don't yell at them. You don't give them more of what they've already had to go through and what they've been dealing with. That's not what they need. 
Sometimes they don't need an answer. Remember I said yesterday, sometimes people just need a hug. Sometimes people just need to know that you're there and that you support them and that you love them and that you trust them. Go with that. That's what my soul said to, to me this morning. That's what my, my higher self said. Even though I was very tired, my higher self came through with, with peace. Make it peaceful. I choose peace. That's what I heard. I choose peace with all of them, right? I don't want to fight with any of them. Okay, so what picture are they looking at? Queen. I posted two pictures. They're the same picture, but one had a background. I didn't real. I wanted nature. I wanted trees because I wanted to show something of, that felt the energy that I was wanting to hold, that I was feeling comfortable in. I, and I said to myself, where do you feel most comfortable? In the trees. Comfortable. So I pulled the picture and I, and I put the frame around it, but it washed the, the picture out. And I thought, ooh. So I changed it. <laughs> and what popped up was the queen. And I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, so I put them both up. But the queen is the one stand, that stands. And I thought, you know what? Present yourself like a queen. Act like a queen. Act like a lady. And act like somebody respectful and with dignity. So that's what I chose. All right, so here we go. At 21 minutes, look how good that is. That's, that's pretty quick for me, right? 21 minutes, and 31, 21 minutes and 31 seconds in, we go to the Earth Mother, Gaia, the Forest Maiden. Yay! Loving her. Okay, whoops. Sorry, Mama. Earth Mama. Okay. So let me move let me move these other things away just a little squirt so I can maneuver on my desk, which has all of a sudden gotten quite small. <laughs> this is what it's gonna be like in a ooh, listen to me. This is what it's gonna be like in a tiny home. I guess I'm gonna be in a tiny home. How funny. Okay, so do we wanna start? I think we'll start with Ah, Woodpecker. Okay. I wanted to start with I, this is a reverse deck. So this this to me is I love this deck oops sorry <laughs> I can't turn it around so I have to do it like this um okay so the woodpecker if it was in the upright the woodpecker is talking about a new rhythm pecking out in your life right follow the new opportunities something new has begun so if it's in reverse spirit says now is not the time to start something new because we're going in we're already, we're, we're in the shadow of Mercury retrograde, and what is it, the 20, I don't know what the date is, but I know that the 26th is when Mercury retrograde actually starts. Gosh, look at the bags under my eyes. Um, we don't want to start anything new in Mercury retrograde. You don't want to start anything new. If you're already into something, that's fine, but don't start any new, new project, any new, don't sign any new anything and, and when you're going into Mercury retrograde. It's just not a good idea. Now, What's interesting about Mercury Retrograde is relationships that come back in, this is a good time. Isn't that interesting? Relationships, like ones that have fallen apart, ones that have broken, the ones that we were talking about, that were, that were the good opportunity that was going to come in, that is something that we, we can be comfortable with. But what they're saying here now about projects, continue with what you've been working on. You've already been working on something. Even if there is a slight delay, and I don't like that because I'm an Aries and I got that this morning. You might get delays or challenging information, but it's the truth. You're going to get information that's the truth. I got it this morning. It was very challenging. It was hard to take. I cried a long time. And it might, it might speak of, of delays, but it also might speak of a small offer coming in. So don't be hung up on the, the words or how the offer is received. Just listen. Listen to what the offer is, okay? If you do have a delay, like I said, it's going to be temporary. It's, it's just temporary. So if you push your ideas, if you get too aggressive and you push your ideas ahead of other people, you're going to cause a problem. You're going to get bogged down. Um, you're going to cause setbacks. And just because you've got a really good idea, Woody Woodpecker, doesn't mean other people don't. So that doesn't make other people's ideas invalid. So like I said yesterday, sometimes... A younger person needs to listen to an older person. Sometimes an older person needs to listen to a younger person. And sometimes even you, Mr. Big CEO of the company, needs to be quiet and listen to wise counsel. Heed wise counsel. 
okay? Remember when you see the color green or when you see rain. You're supposed to heed wise counsel, not listen to your own intuition. Well, check it out. There's the color green right there. Because what, right, what's going on right now is working as part of a team. You want to be a team member. Remember I said, I don't have to do the whole thing. Spirit can handle this. I, I, and that shows my, my guides and my higher self and my father and my twin, I trust you. We're on each other's team. Team members don't go half-cocked, lone wolf on their own. They don't. They work as part of a team. This guy, don't be stubborn and force the new rhythm. And the change that comes about has to be coming gently at this time. So it's talking about being cautious, gentle. Don't place any more pressure on people. Like I said, the one in my life is going through enough right now. He doesn't need any pressure from me, right? He's got enough to deal with. And, and right now we all have enough to deal with. So think about everybody when we're speaking about this. Think about everybody. We're all under pressure, under pressure. That's the song that came up the other day for me. Under pressure, right? And remember, as I was speaking yesterday, um, was it yesterday? I can't remember, the night before that I did the reading? Yes. And I saw Yellowstone. The guys are blue, the, the, and it blew. It was under pressure and it blew. It couldn't take any more, right? No more. So it's like, don't, don't keep hammering. Don't keep hammering at something. Don't apply any more pressure. Right now, this is about checking all the steps. Double check, triple check. That's what I did this morning with that reading. I thought, wow, you know what? I need to ask. I, I turned off all music. I turned off all sounds. I shut my, my computer off and I just prayed. And I called on my father, I called on Archangel Michael, I said, I need for you to talk to me, I need for you to talk to me, I, I cannot make a mistake. I cannot make a mistake. I will not lose what I want so badly, and I won't push away what's so close. And you don't want to either. So don't keep hammering at something. Double check, triple check, anything and everything. Because anything else that you do at this time is gonna cause a further delay. Remember, the Osprey said, important information is pending. Important information is pending. You don't know everything. I don't either. So I'm glad that I listened and I, and I did not. I, I saved that video. I, I will show it to my twin one day. But check it out. Five of water. Okay, this is problems. This is difficulties. So things did not turn out the way you'd hope. You see these three cups broken in front or spilled. Actually, they're spilled. So that's emotions. Water, emotions have been spilled. So maybe angry words, I don't know. Plans have been toppled, right? And things didn't turn out the way that you were hoping or that you were expecting. We all have something else in mind, it seems. And Spirit says, you know, sometimes it looks bad to us. But there is positive to every situation. And, and you don't maybe realize that what you were counting on with these three cups that spilled. Don't, remember the cup? Don't, don't drink from that cup. You don't know what's in that cup. That cup is poison. Don't take the money. <laughs> Remember, don't take the money that keeps coming up. Please don't take the money that they offer you. Please don't. I see a redheaded person saying, take the money, take the money. And I'm saying, spirit is saying, don't take the money. Don't take what's in that cup. They know what you want. They want to offer what they know what you, you, you desperately need right now or what you're going to be drawn to. And it's not in your highest good. Spirit literally kicked those cups over so that that would spill out and you wouldn't take what was in there. They're trying for you to, to understand, that, to focus on these two. When you see the Five of Cups, think about this. The Five of Cups, there's a third party situation. These three, they got knocked out of the way and now the two remain. Now it's the Two of Cups, which is the proper partnership. And the proper partnership may mean you with someone else or it may mean you and spirit. But right now, it's not with them, okay? The light is shining on these two cups. These two cups have dolphins. Dolphins represent play. Maybe you've been working too hard and this, this has got to stop. Maybe you're supposed to retire from that job. But they're telling you, you need to relax, go with the flow, right? Ride the wave, ride this current. You two can do it together. You've got, look at all the jewels. You're supposed to take what you have, what's yours, and leave with that. That's that. The light is shining. Pay attention to that. Don't cry over spilled milk. And right now, whatever's going on, Spirit wants you to have courage. They want you to, they want you to focus on the positive and, and realize that there's something you're not seeing. There's a silver lining to this. You're focusing so much on, on these cups here that you don't understand the silver lining. It might be that, that it didn't happen exactly when you want. Or what's going on is... Remember yesterday I kept bringing out that you're fighting. 
You're resisting the change. You're resisting this change. You're not to resist the change. There's a silver lining. Do not resist the change. Spirit knows. Everything happens for a reason. Whatever has been lost, Spirit wants us to grieve. Yes, go ahead, feel the loss, but then you let it go. You let it go and understand, yes, you need time to heal. If you need to reach out to loved ones to help you or a counselor, that's fine. This is definitely the end of a relationship, but this, is a, this will be a karmic relationship that's ending. It's not, it's not a true loving soulmate relationship that's ending. It's a karmic and it ended for a reason. It could be the uh, end of a business relationship, end of friendships, whatever this is, these three, they're gone because they're meant to be gone at this time. So please don't think that you, you should have done something or that you want to change the past. We can't change the past. I watched, as I watched all of these things, there were so many things that I wish that had happened differently, but, but everything ended up for a reason, the way it did, even though it was awful what I watched. It was awful. It's awful what I went through, right? So yes, there's sadness, but please understand it happened for a reason. Make gratitude your new attitude. The stars will shine brighter upon you. All in your world will become lighter. Focus on gratitude. What do I have to be? Re Remember the person said to me yesterday, what's the point? Nobody likes me anyway. Find something. You're looking at the cup half full or you're looking at all the empty cups and not recognizing that you've got the biggest, most beautifully adorned cups that spirit is shining a light on. You have a divine partnership here. So be grateful for that. So at 31 minutes and 33 seconds in, we go to this fish who's quite surprised. He's surprised at something. Might be, might have had a bit of a shock. Got his mouth open, but maybe he's speaking. Maybe his eyes are open now and he's finally gonna speak. That would be nice. Huh, oh here, that's a, that's a wild card. Here we go. So we'll start with, every, everybody's getting a different, <laughs> yay, <laughs> I like this, this is the truth. Right now, this is from the, um, the Golden the Wisdom of the Golden Path by Tony Carmine Salerno, and I can't tell you how much I love the way that picture looks. I love her dress, I love the phoenix rising, the two of them, and they're, and they're white. Those are peacocks, <laughs> those are beautiful, those are beautiful. They don't look like peacocks, do they? But I've, I've seen this. They're beautiful. But the goddess of oneness is telling you right now, look at that place where this one is. This beautiful one with the long dark hair. Standing on the rocks, the mossy rocks, moss landing. That's what I'm hearing. And the message is, right now there is someone thinking fondly of you. At this very moment, they're sending you their love from my heart to yours. I love you. What is it? Please forgive me. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. One of, the, one of those things. But right now, it's, it's just the love. They're sending their love and their wishes to you right now. Everything that we talk about. This is awesome. See, remember I said, if I get these messages, he gets these messages. And I'm talking to him this morning and I'm telling him everything. And I'm saying, babe, you, you can hear all of this just like I can. So everything that we think, our thoughts, our feelings, everything we send out, that's why I like to talk out loud, it's, it goes out on the World Wide Web and it is picked up by the ones that we love. And that's what they're showing you here right now. We transmit and receive information through our thoughts. We don't have to even speak. Our thoughts and feelings, they're energetically interconnected to the ones that we care about and the ones that care about us. Have you ever had a phone call from your grandma? I have, I'm in California. Or where did I live at the time? When the worst thing in the world happened, when, my, when that man molested my daughter and my whole world blew apart. I was in Victoria, my grandmother was in North Vancouver and I got a phone call and she said, Sherry, what's wrong? I said, how did you, she knew, she's my grandma. My grandma's connected to me. So are we connected to our mothers and our fathers and our brothers and our sisters and the ones that we love and the ones that we care for. And right now they're saying, you might be missing somebody who's not in your presence, and I sure am. And right now, also you might be feeling sadness because someone has, lo has lo left this planet. What was this message? This could be a loss of a relationship. Sorry, I scratched my, my forehead and it's all red. Interesting. My third eye is lit up, it's on fire. Good, good. You might have lost somebody physically. I know I've have, I have clients and I have friends on Facebook that have. Stephanie Garcia, this is for you. 
this is a message that the ones that you have lost are wanting to make their presence felt. They want you to know that they haven't left you and they aren't going to leave you. And the ones that aren't in our physical presence that we love, I'm not leaving you. And there I'm being told, we're not leaving you. We will be forever connected. There is an invisible thread that runs between us all. And it doesn't matter how far away you are or what's going on, nothing, nothing changes that which is united in love. So they have, a, they have an affirmation for us. I like the affirmations. I really do. So look at this beautiful scene and think of who it is that you are loving at this moment because I know who I am. Look at the, this is soft rose pink. This isn't bright hot pink, right? It's not hot pink like that. It's not bold, passionate pink. This is soft, gentle energy. And the green for love and healing. And the yellow for worthiness. I am worthy. I am capable of doing anything. And the green, again, and the grounding for healing and grounded energy. So the affirmation is, my love transcends all time and space. I am forever spiritually connected to those I love. Time and space does not exist within my soul. There is no separation. Love that. What a beautiful picture. I love that. Did you hear that? Maybe that's what you're sending. Okay, now here's the deal. This is why. Now look at the difference. Now look at the difference of what's going on here, right? This is what this one's dealing with. And this is what they need, okay? Right now, seven of fire. Now seven, you're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations, okay? But look, you've got arrows coming at you. You're on your dragon, your dragon that's your best friend, your devoted friend, and you were riding that dragon and you are equipped with the ability to defend yourself but take a look at this rainbow dragon. I feel like this is me since I'm fire and my dragon is a rainbow, but it's opposite as well. And for you, this could be our own personal dragon. I've seen my dragon, she's powerful and it is a she. So think about it, all these arrows that are coming at you, these, these are words, arrows represent words. So there could be angry words coming at you. There could be um, judgment coming at you. It's definitely fire, it's passionate, it's not happy. Okay, but you're on the right path. And that's interesting because, because you are on the right path, that threatens other people. You've stepped into your power. You've taken a hold of your dragon and you're ready to roll. Look at your, your dress is, is passion. All of this is fire. This is, this is forward movement, aggressive, passion, passionate energy, right? We've asked for the rainbow. We already did the mantra. We got the rainbow lights coming into us. Our dragon is lit up. Look at the antenna going right up to spirit. They're very connected. And there is love in that dragon's eyes and healing. This one is so safe. So at this time, you could battle. But why? You have your wand. You don't even have to use it. See how you have it? And look at your smiling. All you need. Remember I said yesterday, spirit knows how to come in and knock out who shouldn't be there. All you need to have is one swipe of that dragon's wing and all those arrows. They're like toothpicks. So right now, it's about choosing your battles wisely. Do you actually need to fight the fight? That's why I said this morning, I'm not fighting this fight. This isn't my fight to fight. This is his fight to fight. So right now, he's being told and you're being told, whoever chose this, stand your ground. Do not back down. You might need to defend your position. You most likely, yes, you will. And you will be successful. But you need to assert yourself and go after what it is that's important to you. What is it that you're fired up about? Where is your passion? And right now, sometimes what happens, you know, never mistake a quiet, gentle person for a weak one. But sometimes, what do we say? Goliath gets brought into our lives to bring the David and us out. So that might be what has happened here. You needed that to stand up and say, you know what? No more. No more. Stand for your convictions. And they, what, did the, what did the Osprey say? Stay on the alert. Stay vigilant because important information is pending. Someone may envy or possess what you have. They want what's yours. So stay vigilant. We got that yesterday. So again, do I need to fight this battle? Sometimes you don't need to answer or fight. Just because you get invited to a war doesn't mean you have to attend. Just because somebody wants to throw a pity party, you don't have to go. Just because somebody says, come on, we're going on a guilt trip, you don't want to pack your bags and do that. So you choose whether you even want to respond. At this point, it's about learning to say no. No, I'm not doing this, but I'm wise. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw myself into a hailstorm, right? Lightning bolts. I've got a dragon. I can fly away. I need to go where it's peaceful. 
I need to go where I'm loved, where, I, where there's healing. Look at the difference between those energies. This is about challenging ones in authority and persevering, and you will be successful. You don't have to be frightened. Not at all. There's a difference between the energy in those two places, and that's where you would want to go. Archangel Ariel. Uriel! Yay! Uriel lights the way. Uriel is the one that says, when you say, what's going on? Show me, show me. I need to see something. Uriel lights the way. So a great spiritual transformation is currently occurring, both in your life and in our world. This is the union of heaven and earth. Chills all over my body. Heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind, unite in harmonious balance. Look at that. Goddess of oneness. This is the unification. This is the uniting of twin souls. This is the uniting of spirit and matter. You are safe. This is the light. Follow the light. Follow the light. The light will lead you home. Go away from anger, judgment, ridicule, blame, unkindness. Go towards love, compassion, gentleness, mercy. She's not talking. She's just saying, come here. Come here where you feel safe. So at 41 minutes and 8 seconds in, we go to this merman. Or oh, He's not a merman, is he? She's a mermaid, but he's not. Interesting. And she's allowing him to carry her at this time. I like that. Spirit says we don't have to do it all ourselves. Right? That's what I said. I don't have to do it all myself. Can we borrow you? Maybe we'll put you back. We'll give you your own messages. Because we need this. Okay, so I have to be careful not to flip the cards around. Ooh, yay. The Grail Fairy. Remember the Grail Knight? Here's the Grail Fairy. Oh my. Okay, first of all, I didn't know that there was a Grail Fairy. But why shouldn't there be, right? There's the Divine Masculine, which would be the Grail Knight. And the Divine Feminine would be the Grail Fairy. And look at how connected she is to her intuition. Look at how connected she is to her dreams. Look at how peaceful this is. She's dropping water into that, into that cup. Fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles. I like this. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. 25, 25, 257. You're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations. Again, we get the number seven. Yes. Listen to the wind chimes out there. They always make me think of my mother and angels when they, when, they, when they speak that way. The Grail Fairy, 25, okay, let me think. So, fertility, which is new birth, new beginnings. Um, maybe you felt like you've been stuck, that things haven't been going your way. But right now, this fairy, she's in the moonlight, she's doing, have you ever, have you ever heard of doing a, a, a moon, I'm having a moon bath? where you, you lie outside and you allow the energy of the moon to bathe over your body and take it in, that's what she's doing. She's working with moon energy. She's a moon goddess. I don't have my necklaces on today, do I? Oh yes, but I'm wearing something different. I'm wearing more grounded. I'm wearing more grounded energy. If you see, this is ocean agate. And for I have all my other jewelry on, but this is, I, and my colors, it's time to go on, on safari. We're going in the rainforest. This is me needing to get grounded and, and stay down here because everything is all over the place right now. And, and I don't want to be pie in the sky. I don't want to be in a dream world. This is about realistic reality right now. Okay. However, this is the moon goddess. So what she's doing right now is she's collecting that, that special water. See the water that she's picking off of the moon? And she's putting it in that beautiful chalice. It's a silver chalice. I like that. And she's telling you these enchanted waters are going to start raining upon you. Remember, I said when you see the color green or when rain comes, you know that that's the light. That's the spiritual teacher you're supposed to listen to. Well, here it is. She's making this rain. This is interesting. And it's healing. And it's, she's blessing the water. And water is cleansing. So she's cleansing as well. She's blessing you. She's cleansing you. She's, she's blessing your dreams. She's sprinkling water on things that are parched and dry. She's bringing what was seeming to have died back to life. Look at this, this mermaid. It's like you drug her up out of the water. She's wrapped in seaweed. Her eyes are closed. But the moon goddess is bringing something back to life. 
This is a time when right now, our emotional waters, I told you, there's a lot of heavy emotion right now. There's gonna be a lot of crying. We're gonna feel our emotions heavily right now, but it's healing. So we have to allow ourselves to feel that, that healing. This is also what she brings forward and blesses our, our creative ideas. Fertility has to do with creative ideas. It has to do with babies. It has to do with anything that's new, artwork, dreams, loving partnerships. This is about renewing partnerships. He's picked this mermaid up. Maybe this is, remember I said when my twin came back, he came and he picked me up. I couldn't run when the great wave came. I couldn't run because I'm a mermaid. I couldn't run because I'm a mermaid. I did great in the water, but when it came to running on the sand, he needed to come back and pick me up. And there he is. <laughs> Who's that man in your life? Right now, this mothering goddess energy is over you both. Renewing. Remember I said when Mercury retrograde starts, we don't want to start a new project. That's what we got. But partnerships that are coming back are blessed. That's one of the things that are being blessed right now. And we're being given confirmation of that right now. So it's about allowing love into our lives and that energy and that life force within us. Because right now, spirit is offering us that chalice. Oh my God. I got it. I got it. What I got earlier was there was going to, was, we got the page of, um, page of, was it page of water? It was, it was a page, and, I, and, and sometimes it represents delays. Sometimes it represents upsetting information, which is what I got. And we did get, there was going to be maybe a slight delay. But it's also an offer. It's not a big offer, but it's an offer. It's one cup. This is the cup. This is the page of cups. You can see the one offer and the water, the page of cups. So right now, it's talking about the feminine energy that comes through us during the moon cycles. We're having a moon come and our moon's going to have an eclipse on top of it. So yes, we do have that loving, nurturing energy, but it's, but there's other things going on as well. So right now we need to, let's take this in before the eclipse comes. Take in the sacred water that spirit's offering you. What's interesting is she's called the triple goddess, the triple goddess, past, present, and future collide. Full circle completion. This is the princess of nature. She wants you to feel that energy. She wants you to feel it in your body. This is about creating something new. This is about accepting love and the emotion of those feelings into our life. This is about life coming back after, after a death. This is like a resurrection. We've gotten this before the Phoenix, but this is a more gentle resurrection. This is about allowing, allowing your tears to fall. Allow your tears to fall. This is about drinking and keeping yourself hydrated. I'm very thirsty, actually. This is about drinking in love, peace, calm, peaceful energy, right? That's why I love to see the first message we got. Here, I gotta move my fish. In a place like that, it's about going to places where the rivers run. I said, I, I need the river. I need the rivers is what I said. I want the rivers. You go where there, where there is water. Take in the water in your, in your body, allow your tears to fly, allow your body to cleanse itself, allow, and, and just, you, you don't, people might, well, who was it, Sandy? It, I've been crying a lot, and I said, allow it, allow it, just allow it, it's cleansing, it needs to happen. When you go to a place like this, the fairies are watching over you. This is, this is my Celtic, this is my Celtic heritage coming. Artemis and, and the goddess of the hunt and the goddess Diana of the forest. This is the energy that we want. Peaceful healing energy. They will, when you allow this energy to come through, it will cause you to become more fertile. It'll, it'll help you bring things into life. Your love, your relationships, your creative projects. This is about you becoming alive again. Trust. All will work out well. Look at the color. Look at the color, soul color, turquoise, the color of the water, the color of the water in the sky. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. Wow. I love this reading. This is awesome. I love this. Wow. Oh, my. So we've had the seven of fire. Now we have the king of fire. This is a very powerful man. This is a man who knows what he's doing. He could be a bit of a control freak. So he's got to watch that. 
but he's motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. This man has risen to the top of his trade. He is absolutely in command of his dragon. Look how comfortable he sits upon that dragon. Wow. So the king of fire, he doesn't have to represent a fire sign. He does not. He can represent any sign holding on to those qualities, right? Driven, knows what he's on about, passionate about what he has in his, in his mind or in his heart. You want the king of fire. You want that loving energy, that passionate energy. You want that man that wants to lift you up and carry you. We're tired right now, right? If this one comes into your life, yes, you want that. Now you could be getting this person. This person could come into your life to give you some advice, right? This is a leader. This is also, if this is you, they're asking you, if you've chosen this, this is about embracing this. You need to be a leader. Communicate. Communicate with vision. Speak from your heart. Speak passionately. What is it that you need to do at this time? You're listening. We've already been given the, the, this information. Look about, are you to carry someone? Are you to come forward and, and pick someone back up? You know what you're doing. You're being loved. You're being told to be trusted, that you are trusted. Look, you are told that there is life coming back. If you have not been well, you trust spirit. Your health is returning and it's returning vibrantly. Yes, it will. Trust that. Health, life cycles. You may have thought it was dead and gone, but it's not. It's burst back into life. This is the phoenix rising on the dragon itself. This is amazing. This could represent you or somebody in your, your life. I welcome the king. Look, I called myself the queen. I'm, and I called myself the queen of water. I didn't choose to be the queen of fire. Isn't that interesting? Because I am an Aries and I am the queen of, a queen of wands, right? That, that's my business name. But I, I knew that sometimes fire is, is necessary, but sometimes calm, peaceful energy is necessary. And I chose calm energy. That's like silver water, right? And there's the king of fire. Because you don't want to have two kings, or you don't want to have two fire heads going at it, right? There needs to be fire and water. There needs to be a balance. So there, that's what you see here. You see the water and the fire here, and there is the king. Wow. I want that king. That's the king I want. Now, you may be getting advice. As I said, this could be a, a, a respected father figure. This could be business travel. This could be an emergency that's coming because I, I, I was telling you the dream that I had when the great wave started to build on the beach, when my twin came back and carried me, there was a fire going through the valley and that's fiery emotion, that's angry words. Even the water was on fire. So even the emotions were hot. So that's the situation that's going on, right? That's why we needed calm and peace as well. A sudden passionate love affair, a change of residence. This is movement quickly. So don't worry because look, everything's gonna turn out well. The angels are there to nurture, protect and heal you. Trust in the healing power of love. Look at this. This is amazing. We love you more than you will ever know. Wow, I love it. At 53 minutes in, we go to our last, which is that beautiful healing queen mother. <laughs> the queen mother. This is the, this is the nurturing, loving, peaceful energy. And she holds the key. Remember the one that was so sad and she had the key around her, around her, her neck. Now a man has this energy as well right? There can be a man with this beautiful, loving, nurturing energy. I am also a one that's got fiery energy, right? So it could be the opposite. It could be flipped. But there's the key and there's the color blue. And look, you're safe and you're protected. And it's simple. Look how this is made. Simplicity. And look how this one is nurturing their inner child. They're loving. They know how to love an inner child. They know how to love their own inner child, right? And right now the key is peace. The key is love and peaceful energy. So we speak. I love this. I love this reading. I love this reading. After everything that I just went through and what I watched, this is such a beautiful reading. I'm so blessed right now and so are you. So the White Duchess. Oh my gosh. It's raining. Look, it's raining. Remember I said when you see the rain, you will know the light to follow. This is it. How interesting. An airplane just went by and it sounded like thunderheads. I wonder if it is thunderheads. I know there are thunderheads out there. We saw them. So 
they're telling you, don't look back. They want you to look ahead. Your future is bright. And even if the pain of the past is a little bit too close right now, this white duchess is helping you step in and leave behind these emotional storms. We've been going through a lot of emotional storms and we don't want it anymore. We don't, we wanna let that go. And right now, do you have post-traumatic stress? I think I do. And do you believe that because everything's been such a struggle up until now that that's the way it has to continue? Because that's not the truth. Or maybe have you been pushing towards something? Have you had a dream that you've been trying to, to bring about and it's been so long that you're losing hope? You don't believe that there's going to be this new life coming? The new life that was promised to the last group of people? Are you losing hope in that? I felt this way. But the White Duchess is coming here and she's telling you right now, I want you to pay attention. So I know this is, this is the message I chose. And look, the number is 15. One in five is six. Don't be so focused on the material. Focus on spirit. Follow the light no matter how difficult it gets. And she's saying right now, don't look back. Allow the past just to go to sleep. Whatever's been haunting your dreams, whatever has caused turmoil, it's over. We don't need it anymore. Everything that was what I showed, it wrapped up everything ever since I was born on this, on, in this lifetime. In this lifetime, from the time I was a child, it wrapped everything up and I saw it all from the beginning until now. And I don't want to hold on to it. That's why I didn't send that video out. We don't want to hold on to that anymore. We saw it. We saw it, we've experienced it, we've experienced it enough. And right now our future is calling us, that's our destiny. This is about transitioning through into something new and beautiful. And when she appears, we have a very significant change about to take place. And some of us are aware of this, I know this. A lot of us are feeling this, some of us aren't aware. I know that this is happening and I don't wanna resist the change and it might go it might cause us to have to go look at into the storm. I knew that. Spirit told me, you're going to have to go into the storm. Oh my God, the dream. She said she was coming back. Somebody kept trying to get me to go back to Wisconsin. Remember I said the two that were riding the horse on the back field and the father came and said, where's my daughter? And the one that represented my karmic said, she said she was coming back. And the father said, now she's gone out into the storm, but that's where I'm supposed to go. Sometimes it feels like we're not supposed to do that. But I was supposed to go there. I knew that. I made the right choice. And look, we're supposed to go into the storm. We don't know where we're going. We may not even know who we really are right now. But we're being guided. And we're being free from past influences and all the issues that have been trapping us from not only this time, but from the past lifetime. Because I told you, I had two princes that constantly kneeled before me. And they came from past lives. So this is karmic. This is karmic endings. This is letting go of the karmic ties, cutting them away. This is wiping the, the, the slate clean, getting rid of all the contaminants, all of the things that were toxic. We're bathing in this rain. We're, I love, I am the one person, everyone knows this about me. When it rains, I'm outside in the rain. I dance in the rain. I play in the rain. When it rains and people stay inside, I'm outside. I love it. It's cleansing. We use that energy. I told you, monsoon season, something big was coming, and this is it the rain use the rain to cleanse you whether it's the rain that falls from your eyes or the rain that comes from outside because it's wiping away everything trust right now spirit wants us to trust my hands are prickling like crazy you know what's prickling like crazy my right hand but it's not a negative it's my right hand man my right hand man is prickling i'm connecting with my right hand man i'm connecting I'm holding my phone with my right hand and my right hand and I heard my right hand man. So I, we are connecting. So pay attention to why you get prickles. Right now there's something that we can say. And again, we're, we're getting the number three. Remember, if you get something three times, pay extra close attention. And when you say things three times, like the mantra that we got, pay extra close attention. It means something very important. You know what's interesting? I'm thinking, I've got to show you. I chose a different picture. Did I show you this? I chose that because I, I love the waterfalls and I wanted to be there. But it washed me out and I looked kind of weird and ghostly. I asked my landlord, which picture, right? That one or the other one, which should I use? This one or that one? And he said, that one. And I got comments on that one, but I chose that one. And look at the number, three. I listened to my higher self. Full circle completion, ascended masters, 
And it's interesting because I thought to myself, okay, I'm not good at making decisions normally, right? And I thought, because there's, me- there's a message in that. There's a reason that that's there. And uh, because it needed to be seen that I'm the queen of water right now. I'm in my Pisces energy. I'm not in my fire energy. I'm in my Pisces moon. I'm the moon goddess right now. I'm connecting to my moonstones. It's very important right now. And I thought to myself, I'm not good at making decisions normally, right? So I thought, what he tells me, I'll do. And then he told me that, and I knew right away, no. Now that's the same thing as when you have to make a choice about something or someone. Remember the two kittens? If you go to throw your silver dollar up in the air and you say heads is one, tails is the other, and it lands on the one that you know it isn't, you know right away, you've already made your choice. You know what your choice is. I knew that was the one. I knew. I knew who my twin is. I knew who I, what I chose, right? You will too. It's everything, all of this is very, very important right now. So three times this white duchess wants us to say, because we're working with the energy of this white duchess. Now, isn't that interesting? She's black and white. Things don't always look the way they are. Things are not always black and white, but sometimes things are black and white. Sometimes it's yes or no, right? So she's black and white and she's saying right now, this is what we are to say three times. Duchess, white duchess of light, help me turn away from the night. The past is over, I choose to be free. So begins a new chapter of destiny. And now we're gonna go close the door. We're gonna open it and we're gonna call on Archangel Michael to assist us. And we're gonna open this door and we're gonna say, I close the door on the past. That's our healing trick right now. So do this yourself. Don't be silly. Don't fail your silly to do it. If you don't have a door that you can close, then visualize one. But it's kind of good if you can hear the, the door shut. That's my past. That's your past. That's the past of the one that I love. I don't want to look at it anymore. I want the future. We're using the rain to wash away. My tears cried enough last night. Let's wash away the past and move forward. We want to step through the door into our future. And now we can say something else. Why don't we stand at that door? We're gonna stand at this door. Now look, we've got Michael above us. Imagine Michael above you, his wings protecting you. And we will say, for this moment only, this door separates my past from my future. Through my own free will, I choose to leave the past behind. I'm grateful for all that I have learned, forgiving and letting go of all that has been. I no longer need to hold on. I am free. I am free, free from my past. I turn to the light of my fresh start. Now so be it. I am free from my past. I turn to the light of my fresh start. And so be it. That's my choice. I choose my future. I choose my destiny. I move forward into the storm. With courage and compassion, I leave the past behind. I've learned well. And now I find that there's a new adventure coming for me and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for that adventure. Are you ready for yours? I sure as hell am. I am ready. The past is done. I'm done with the past. The next step, it's, it's our divine destiny we're, wa- we're walking into and we need to trust the universe to guide us. We're, begin- we're being given a new chance at life. They were as well, the ones before. The fish was given one as well, the new chance at life. And I get it too. We get free will. We all get choice. I choose the new. I choose the new. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, this is, this is, this is really good. Remember I told you, you were so worried about these three cups that spilled in front of you? Do you know what these three cups represented to me? Three relationships. The wrong ones. And the one that was standing next to me, that's the right one. And here you see the two of water, the two of cups. This is a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. She's riding on that. Do you know what she's riding on? She's riding on an orca. And the orca says, follow your soul's path. Both of their heads are underwater, but they're breathing fine. And they have cards all on the table all cards on the table showing hearts all of me loves all of you look how beautiful that night is all of me loves all of you the two of water oh wow so in your life 
what it shows you is it could be that you have two people that are sharing a very close relationship right now, okay? But the fact that there's resolution of a conflict may mean that this is possible now, that there's going to be a resolution. This is where kindred spirits come together and the power of forgiveness allows for a new beginning. Your fond friend, you are friends, but it continues to grow deeper and deeper. And you have what you need in the Two of Cups. What you didn't have in this message, what you didn't have in these three cups was respect, understanding, truth, communication. They didn't understand who you were and you didn't understand them. There's no point talking to sleepwalkers. They can't understand. They're not awake. These two are awake. They have understanding. And if it has not developed already, it is developing now. Your relationship is healing. And there is continued commitment possible for you. You may not believe that there is, but look, there is. And what you needed was peace. Right now, if you're wondering what's going on in your relationship, this is not the time to leave it. The one that you love, the one that you're worrying about, the one that's been struggling. Don't walk away from that. You hold on. This is about persevering because look what's coming. Look what's coming. This is about difficulties between people coming to an end. And we have positive resolutions. This could represent business partnerships. If you're really worried about your business and you've had problems, this, any, any difficulties that you've had, it could be family. I've prayed, I want my twin's family to come together. I do want that. I want that. It's difficulties coming to a positive resolution. Letting the past go. Choosing peace. I choose peace. Conflicts ended. You forgive one another, and maybe you're forgiving other people as well. But what's going on with these two is there's a deep, deep magnetic sexual energy between these two. The attraction is undeniable. They are absolutely kindred souls. This speaks about engagement. This speaks about somebody coming forward with a gift. And it's an unexpected gift because it's going to be surprising. It's emotional, water, right? This, this, is, this is amazing. I'm so excited about this, I can't freaking stand it. And the fact that water is emotion, it's about sharing your feelings, it's about expressing your truth, sharing ideas, blended ideas, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And our message, Archangel Gabriel, that's who I work with, that's the, that's the messenger, that's the Red Hawk. So Archangel Gabriel, you will soon see, you will soon receive some positive news the channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. I cannot think of anything more perfect than this reading today. I'm so happy. I hope you guys, I chose, this is my card. And that other one, I, I mean, I don't know what my twin chose, but my higher self asked and it chose the one, this one. So that's pretty freaking awesome. We do have a wild card, okay? One extra card came out, and it's hunting. Wow, and it's in the upright, yay. Okay, so what's going on here is after all of this, after we follow all of our messages, right? Because there were certain things that we, we didn't wanna start something different, right? We were gonna stick to what we were working on, right? And, and, and the other message about you don't, need to, um, you don't need to go to any pity party, you don't need to go to a war even if you're invited. Um, you want to find a place of peace. You want to allow the, the, the tears to fall. You want to allow healing to happen. Oh, my stomach's hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And that's hunting. And hunting is pursuing what you need. That's what spirit's asking you to do. And look at that one. That one's hungry too. That blackbird is hungry. I want that. So right now you are meant to, and right, right when I said that, I want that. Did you hear my, my computer bing? And I turned the volume down. Right now you're hung, hungry. And spirits saying, you're hungry. And they keep saying, you're hungry, dude. Go after what it is that you want. This is the time to actively go after what you are hungry for, what you are thirsting for. This is it. This is the moving forward. It's interesting since we were just shown, in one instance, we were not to do something different. But this, this bird is hunting for what it needs to survive. Right? It knows it needs those insects to survive. Some need berries. I would need berries. That's why I carry. In all of these messages that we get, I, I'm the one that has the, the cranberries that spill out or the cherries, right? I'm the one that has the, because I'm a vegetarian, I'm not going to be eating that. But some do. Some hunt animal prey, right? 
It's part of the way they have to survive. So basically what it's telling you is if there's any dreams that you've been putting off, any goals that you have wanted to pursue, now's the time to take them on. If you're looking for a new job or if you're looking for a new place to live, now's the time to begin that hunt. Wow, I knew I was moving. I knew I was moving. So right now it's about strategizing, finding your way. Find your way. What works for others isn't, isn't necessarily going to be what's working for you, right? We all have our own unique way of looking at things. And I know what I work at and I know what I like. And I do it very differently than other people. So that's the message. Nobody's going to do things quite the way you do it. And, and they don't have to. And you don't have to do things the way other people. We have. Remember, I was told that one egg that I was going to give to that worthy sparrow, that's all you need is that one egg. And from that, everything's, the dragon's going to grow, right? So you have what you need. And you need to work it in your own unique way. Don't copy other people. Other people, like, like I said, Veronica said something the other day and I liked it and I shared it, right? And I said Jackson said something and I agreed with it. And so I shared that. There's certain things that we can adopt from other people, but we don't want to copy anyone. We can never copy anyone. We can never. We don't want to do that. We want to be our own authentic true selves, okay? So this is what they're telling you. That way you're going to succeed because it's you. Because it's, it's coming from you. So if you're not trying to be somebody else, if you're not trying to copy someone else, if you're not lying, you're going to, you, you know, if you're going to copy someone else, you're going to flub because it's not authentically coming from you. If you're going to try and read out of a book and copy that, you're, you're going to forget your lines, right? If you're acting, you're going to forget your lines. Even if you don't have eloquent words, they're your words. And that's what's important. And everybody comes to us for our unique perspective and, and our unique way of looking at things. We all have gifts, we all have talents. Don't ever think that you don't have a talent as good as someone else because you do it differently. Everybody ha brings something to the table. That's why I said, sometimes people come to me for a, a fiery message, sometimes people come to me for love. And today, I'm absolutely embracing the goddess energy in me. I have, I'm an Aries in a Pisces moon and I'm Gemini rising. So I'm intelligent, I tap into my higher self I am emotional and very loving and very sensitive and I'm very fiery, I'm very loyal, I'm very determined and I can be very kick-ass, right? I'm trying to think of what the other ones, I think I'm double fire and double water, actually. Um, Kelly will tell me, Kelly, Kelly Knox does my, my chart. <laughs> so right now, they're telling you, if you try and steal from somebody else, if you try and copy someone else, if you try and... Uh, come in any other way but the authentic you, you're going to fall into traps because you don't know that way. See, I know what I've been through. I know my trials and I know what works and what doesn't work for me. So I'm, I'm going to avoid that trap. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not opening that old door. I've been there. Been there. Done that. Don't want to go there. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Right? But if I'm trying to copy someone or listen to someone else or following someone else's advice and not being my authentic true self, I'm going to fall into traps because I don't know the lay of the land. So right now, you follow your own thing. You be you, borrow a little bit here and there, but work with your own. That's for all of us, that's for all of us. So at one hour and 13 minutes and 13 seconds in, 13, 13, four, four, eight, you are infinitely supplied. Now we can break that all the way down and since this is our weekly reading, we will. So 13 minutes and 13 seconds in, the number 13, three, well, one would be keeping your thoughts positive, three would be ascended masters. So the ascended masters are with you, helping you maintain a positive outlook. The number 13 signifies female ascended masters and goddesses are assisting you to stay positive. And we know that for a fact because look, this is the goddess of love. This is Aphrodite and this is the goddess of the moon. So Artemis of the hunt, she's the lady of the forest, the goddess of the forest, she's with you. The goddess of the moon, the goddess of love, they're assisting us. That's pretty cool because right now, that's what love is. Love's going to be it. Love heals angry people. It heals frightened people. Love does everything. Love is the movement. The goddesses are running the world. The goddess energy is running the world now, the love movement. We're, we're done with the fire. We're done with the wars. Man has done that for a long time. We need the goddess energy, the loving energy, the peaceful energy. 
That's what we need. People that have been through difficult times, people that are suffering, they don't need someone screaming and yelling at them and hitting them and telling them that they're going to go to hell and they're going to die. And if you don't do this, I'm going to cut you off from the family. And if you don't do this, we're pulling the money back. And if you don't do this, we're firing you. Peace out. Peace out. And recognize that the goddesses have got you covered. They got the key. They got the key and the key is love. The key is love. Okay, so then one and three is four, which means... There are angels everywhere around you. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. 1313, um, 13, what was that, 26? I'm so bad in math, you guys don't laugh at me. 13 and 13 is 26, right? So 26, I love my, my angel numbers book. Angel numbers by Doreen Virtual. I will give her that. I do like these. And you know what? I don't care that somebody else made these up. They're positive affirmations. I believe and trust in it, and I like it. So 26 says, positive affirmations help your situation improve quickly, because they do. The angels urge you to only think and speak about your desires and not to infirm any of your fears, because they're just an illusion. Fear, false evidence appearing real, false expectations appearing real. Okay, so 13, 13, 26, 2 and 6. Six, seven, eight. We already got eight, but we'll give it to you again. I'm so bad in math. The number eight signifies abundance, prosperity. The endless loops in this number signify an infin infinite flow of money, time, ideas, whatever else you require for, to fulfill what you need at this time for your life purpose. So support, love, infinity, also engagement, right? Love, love. It all goes back. It all circles back around. And it all circles back around because we are all part of the United Collective. We are just one. I am just one of the United Collective. We are never alone. Never. We have no fear. This is the most freaking awesome reading. I can't believe it. Hold on. I got... Why did that pop up? Sometimes she's a hat thief. Oh, I'm laughing. Remember I said to the magician, take that hat off? That just popped up. I stole somebody's hat. Sometimes she's a hat thief. <laughs> I like that. That's a good message because that hat had to go, right? Hold on, what, is the other, what else am I getting? Because we get messages from people. Oh, someone's going to the cemetery. This is going to be a beautiful reading for her. Her mother died. Um, I just want to see what else. This is where I learned reading from Zachariah. Books, Mesopotamian people, the works he's done. See, the ancient day, the planet is where these people were from Mars. Well, I am from Mars, and I am connected to the Mesopotamians, and so does my, my twin knows about this, so that's pretty cool. I, I, that's just cool. That's just another connection. Remember, we're all connected. We're all part. The Mesopotamian rock outside of Sedona in Valle Verde, there's the Mesopotamian stone in, in the Grand Canyon, and I keep getting the Grand Canyon. They keep speaking to me about the Grand Canyon. They uncovered in the, um, I think it was in the 60s or the 70s, a palace down in the inside in the caves and it was mesopotamian stones and and amazing and and there was a video on it but they've closed it off of course the government steals it all but the connection is never stolen now think about that the government could represent anybody who takes from you what doesn't belong right they're controlling something but the connection is never gone just like falada the horse the best friend they cut her head off so that they couldn't communicate but energetically you can't stop the communication spirit is always with us all right, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I love you. I'm super excited. I'm really happy with this reading. I hope that this is, was a, a beautiful reading for you. Actually, I'm going to take you outside and let you look one last time. Where are my glasses? Here they are. Let's see if there's anything else we need to see. It's a cooker. I was heading to, the, to, a, to a river, but it's so hot. Oh, wow, it's beautiful, though. Look. Okay, somebody's backing up right now. Do you hear that? Someone's backing up right now. That's good. That's good. Retreat. I like that. Retreat because there was aggressive energy. So back up. It might be somebody changing their mind in a positive way. And right now, I don't know if you guys can see that cloud right there, but that's a frog. That's a freaking frog. Can you see it right now? I'm holding my phone up. I want you to zoom in, take a snap. That is absolutely a frog. And we said, whenever you see frogs or the rain, you're following the light. And there's emphasis. Backing up backing up that is the most amazing frog that is the frog that's going to turn into my king no princes for me those princes they're supposed to say frogs i'm excited all right and the winds are blowing these are the positive winds of change you guys this is it i'm ready for the divine masculine
Come on, baby. All right, you guys. I love you.